Hello class. Today we're going to be <coughs> advancing into animal nutrition and learning how to balance a feed ration using the Pearson Square method. Alright, on this label I have each nutrient clearly listed with the amount that is found in this dog treat. But how much of the ingredients will it take to reach this level of nutrition? Alright, Pearson Square method. It's a useful tool for simplifying and balancing of rations. It shows the proportions or percentages of two feeds to be mixed together to give a percentage of the needed nu nutrient. All right, here's your scenario. You have decided to show a hog for the Centerpoint FFA show team, and you need to determine what you're going to feed it. You know it will take 2,000 pounds of feed to feed your 100-pound growing hog. Here's what you found out through some research. A feeding standards table shows that a 18% crude protein ration is needed. Corn and soybean meal, or SBM, are selected as the feeds. A feed composition table shows that corn has an 8.9% crude protein content, while soybean meal has 44.4% crude protein. Question, how much corn and soybean meal will you need to mix together for the 2,000 pounds of feed that you need for your show pig? Alright, here's how. Step 1, draw a 1 to 2 inch square. You need to place diagonal lines across the square. Step 2. Write the percentage of crude protein needed by the animal in the center of the square where the diagonal lines cross. This is what you want your final feed ration to contain. In this ration, we want an 18% crude protein content. Alright, step 3. Write the feeds to be used at each corner of the percent of crude protein and the feeds after the name of the feed. Do this on the left side of the square. Here we have corn at 8.9% crude protein on the top left corner and soybean meal at 44.4% crude protein on the bottom left. Now step 4. You need to subtract the smaller of the numbers from the larger numbers. This involves crude protein needed by the animal and the provided by the feed. Write the difference in the opposite corners. Okay. Right here, we have corn at 8.9%. It is a smaller number than 18%. So what you do is you subtract 8.9 from 18, and diagonally the difference is 9.1 parts. Then you move over here to your 44.4% soybean meal and you subtract 18 from that and that is 26.4 parts. Now you subtract in a diagonal manner but the corn stays at the top while the soybean meal stays at the bottom. After this is done you realize you need 26.4 parts of corn and 9.1 parts of soybean meal. Step 5. The numbers at the two right corners are parts of the two feed ingredients that are needed. So now you do the math. 26.4 parts of corn and 9.1 parts of soybean meal added together equals a total of 35.5 parts. Once you have the total parts, you take what the parts are and divide by the total. So for parts corn, you take 26.4, divide that by 35.5. You then move down and take the 9.1 parts soybean meal and divide it by the same 35.5 total parts. Step 6. The percentage, of, the percentage of each feed needed in the ration can be found by dividing the number of parts by the total parts 
then multiply by 100. Do the math. 26.4 divided by 35.5 equals 0.744 multiplied by 100 is 74.4% corn. 9.1 divided by 35.5, the total parts, equals 0.256. Multiplied by 100 is 25.6% soybean meal. These two numbers that you have in the percent column should add up to equal exactly 100%. Alright, now that you have your percentages, 74.4% is corn, 25.6% soybean meal, you can move on to the final step. Okay, step seven. The amount of each feed ingredient for a large batch of feed is determined by multiplying the percentage of each by the total amount of feed desired. Your batch of feed is desired to be 2,000 pounds or one short ton. So you therefore take the 2,000 pounds, multiply that by the 0.744, which is the 74.4% of corn, and you get a total of 1,488 pounds of corn. Next, you do 2,000 pounds multiplied by the 0.256, which is 25.6% soybean meal, and you get 512 pounds soybean meal. These two numbers right here that you have should add up to equal the desired amount, which is 2,000 pounds or a short ton. Okay, so if you mix 1,488 pounds of corn with 512 pounds of soybean meal, you have 2,000 pounds of feed at a 18% crude protein mix. You have now learned how to balance feed rations using the Pearson Square method to acquire a desired crude protein ration. Thank you.